Hi, I'm Juliet, and in this video, we're going to explore the fourth inclusive leadership tip that reinforces the learning that you received in the inclusive leadership welcome to the table training, or like in the previous videos, you can use this one to share with your teams some of what you learned and get others involved in helping sustain an inclusive environment. So as a quick reminder of the subject matter, inclusive leadership is ultimately about creating a strong mix of differences and ensuring that the mix works well together. So as inclusive leaders, we're responsible for creating an experience, an employee experience, and a customer experience where everyone is welcomed to the table. So for tip number one, we introduced the mnemonic device SLAP, S-L-A-P, as a way to check our biases. And for the second tip, we explored the concept of grow who you know, which was about taking advantage of opportunities to connect with people who aren't well represented amongst the people we typically interact with. Then tip number three was about sit in someone else's seat, which was about trying to understand and empathize with the perspective and experience of others so that we are better able to relate across difference and ensure that everyone is welcomed to the table. And now for this video, tip number four is call out psst, to address non-inclusive behaviors. Yes, psst. So like the mnemonic device SLAP that we introduced in the first video, PSST is another one that we can easily remember, and this one can be really helpful in addressing non-inclusive behaviors. Having to address actions and behaviors that aren't inclusive is oftentimes an uncomfortable responsibility that you and I have as leaders, but it's a responsibility nonetheless. Anytime we witness something that contradicts our aim of ensuring that the differences and unique characteristics of everyone are embraced, valued, and leveraged for the good, we have the obligation to stand up and say something if we strive to be inclusive leaders. To say nothing is to silently agree, which can actually compound the negative impact. And this can seem tricky because most people, when they do things that exclude others or don't value or embrace another person's difference, they don't have outright negative intentions. Oftentimes, they're unaware of the impact of their actions, which is all the more reason why we have to step up and say something to help us all grow in our awareness and become more conscious and deliberate about making a positive impact on sustaining an inclusive environment. So even if a negative impact wasn't intended, if we see things that overlook or ignore people who should be part of the process, or that disrespect difference, or create in-group versus out-group dynamics that leave some on the outside, or that devalue the contributions and perspectives of particular people, these are the times to speak up and do something about it. And all it might take to do so effectively is a little psst. What I love about that is that it's easy to remember because it's the sound that you and I typically make when we want to get someone's attention in a non-threatening way and let them know that we have something to tell them, right? Psst, hey. Well, imagine if in our team meetings we set the expectation up front that the group will use this as a way to hold each other accountable and call out any non-inclusive behaviors or actions as they happen. That's really what I suggest you do. Teach psst to your team so that anytime something happens that creates a dynamic within the team that isn't inclusive and valuing of difference, someone on the team can call time out using this method, which will be the cue to everyone else that we need to pause for just a moment and address what just happened. And that's exactly what the P in psst stands for pause to address the situation and ensure that the non-inclusive action isn't ignored. Now what you have to do as a leader is decide if what happened is something that you should address outside of the group one-on-one -on -one, with the person who committed the action or if you should address it with the group. And that totally depends on the situation but usually if the action happened one-on-one -on -one, then that's likely the best way to address it. But if others or the larger team witness the action even if it's something that you address one-on-one -on -one with the offender, it's still a good idea to circle back to the team and ensure that the team knows it was addressed and that you didn't ignore it so that there's no further negative impact. And that's why using the PST method as a team can be so powerful because then the expectation is set up front that you will hold each other accountable as a team. So again, P is for pause to address the situation. Then the first S stands for speak up and call out the specific actions and words that they used that were non-inclusive or offensive. 
And this is important because as we said earlier, oftentimes people are unaware of the impact of a particular statement or action that was devaluing or non-inclusive. So it's important to tell them exactly what they said or did that had a negative impact and what that impact was. Next, the second S stands for seek understanding and clarity of why the actions or behaviors were not inclusive. This means take a moment to make it a learning moment for everyone, and especially for the person who exhibited the action so that they can grow from the experience as well. Then the last letter, T, stands for talk about how to fix it, how you can work together to ensure that there is no further negative impact from their actions. So, psst. Pause, speak up, seek understanding, and talk about how to fix it. Again, this can be a great group accountability tool to use in team meetings in general, but especially in settings where it's really important for everyone's varying perspectives to be heard and valued, like during talent review meetings, interview debrief meetings, and innovation sessions. So share this tip with your teams and agree to work together to create the type of team dynamic where everyone is truly welcomed to the table.